Welcome to Tim's Leak Code Challenge. This problem is called Binary Search Tree Iterator. Implement the BST Iterator class that represents an iterator over the in order traversal of a binary search tree. Now, what is the in order traversal of a binary search tree? If you recall, it's basically the leftmost, then the node itself, and then the rightmost. That's going to give us actually the sorted order of our BST. Essentially, we want to form a class that's going to kind of mimic the recursive call. Uh, but we have two functions here. We could return a has next, which is a Boolean of whether or not there is another node available, or the next, which returns the value of this current node and then moves the pointer to the right. So this kind of makes it seem like the best way to do this is to append our node values into an array doing an in order traversal using like a recursive function and then write functions for has next and next. And you know, that would be pretty easy, but let's try something else. Let's instead try to try to uh, simulate the recursive stack here uh, using this iterator. So if we were to do this in order, how would this recursive stack look? Essentially we would go, remember in a in order traversal, we go left and then this node and then the right node, right? Well, if that's the case, then we would go left. And if there's anything to the left again, we'll go left. And then we'll put onto this recursive stack all the lefts. And the very last one, when the, where there is no left node anymore, that's the smallest value. Right, so what's the next one after that? Well, it's the one that's on top, which would be like on this recursive stack, whatever is on top of that. But we have to also make sure to add the right node of this node onto our stack as well. Because we can't just not uh, assume that there's no more left. There is going to be more on the right side. And to that right side, there might be more on the left side again. So basically what we'll have to do is once we pop off the, the smallest node, we'll check to see if there was a, uh, is a value to the right of this node. And there is, we will add that. And then we'll also add everything to the left to kind of mimic that recursive call. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, let's just say we had our BST iterator, and we have these tree nodes. I'll clear it up a little bit. Um, what we'll do is we're going to have a stack here, and this is going to kind of simulate the recursion. I'll be empty at first, and if this is in order, we're going to go left, 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 as long as there's a left one, right? So we'll have to just mimic that. We'll say cur, current node is equal to the root. While there's a cur, we're going to add to our stack this, this uh, tree node. And then we're going to go to the left, say cur, cur the left. And that at the very top of the stack should be the smallest number. So here it's say seven, then we go here and that'll be three. And then that ends our uh, current recursion, right? Now, what do we do when we go next? Well, we clearly we have to pop off whatever is on our stack, right? So make sure that there's a stack to begin with. If not self.stack, then we just return, um, I don't know, return none, I guess. Otherwise, we're going to pop off. Whatever's on our self, whatever's on our stack. But before we return this value, we want to make sure to add on to our stack here. Okay, uh, whatever this is here, there could be some values to the right of it, right? And because think about it, if there's something to the right of this, it would be four or it'd be five or it'd be six. And if that was the case, that's not on our stack yet. So we have to add that, but it's not just that. We also need to add everything to the left as well to make sure that the next one is indeed the next number that's gonna be greater than, than this number. So uh, what I'll do is, let's just have current pointer pointing at the candidate. We'll say if there's a cur dot right, well, uh, well, let's make cur equal to cur dot right. Uh, otherwise, if there's not, then cur will just equal none. And we're going to mimic the same thing here. We'll say uh, while cur, just add, add it, and then go all the way left again. And the very top one should be the next number. And as for this has next, all this really is is whether our stack is empty or not. The stack shouldn't be empty if there's more nodes coming down the pipeline. So we'll just return self.stack, uh, whether that's equal to an empty list or not. All right, so let's make sure this works here. Looks like that is. And there we go. So this is just a O of N 
time complexity. And because of our stack, I suppose it's also O of N space complexity, but uh, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like this problem because um, it kind of simulates the recursive uh, stack if you were to do this recursively and kind of just gives you a nice idea of like how it looks like. Uh, you can certainly just put it into an array and, you know, return the index numbers like that. But uh, what's the fun of that, right? All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.